What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and we're about to storm Fort Mercius because uh, apparently this is the last like line of defense before we can take on the Empire. And it looks like we're gonna have to go up against the Death Knight, which is also uh, Mercedes' brother. Uh, the Kingdom Army Emil? crosses the Great Bridge Emil? of Murden a second time, moving south through Grander Field. However, in order to reach Anvar, they must first seize the impregnable Fort Mercius. Fort Mercius, said to rival Arian Road, the Silver Maiden. Perhaps a head-on siege was a foolish plan after all. No, you're right that it's the only way. I don't think the Death Knight would have fallen for any tricks. Even if they are denied supplies, they could hold a fortress like this for months. And we cannot discount the possibility that they will receive more reinforcements if our siege is delayed. True, <sighs> true. Yes, my thoughts exactly. And we have no option but to do the best we can. Say, Professor, in the past, it seemed like the Death Knight took some strange satisfaction from his fights with you. He's an unpredictable opponent, a dangerous one. Please proceed with caution. I have not come this far just to lose you here. I'm serious. Do not be reckless out there. Mercedes. So... The Death Knight really is inside that fortress. Mercedes. I want you to know that no one is forcing you to battle with us at the front lines. I support whatever you decide. Please stop. We can't have you saying that. You and I are the same after all. We both have to fight our family for the good of the world. And since that's the way it is, I couldn't live with myself if I was the only one running away from this battle. I will bring Emil back to his senses. I must. I'm his big sister, after all. Understood. Stay safe out there, Mercedes. That man approaches. Report! The main gate has been breached. Uh, how did I get tangled up in all of this? You are finally here. Will Death's scythe claim you, or will I fall to that sword of yours? And Mercedes, here you are as well. Why, thank you so much! Thank you! Ever so grateful. I thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Let's see. Anybody want to change it out? We got Casper, level 46, with almost 70 health. You have 67. Uh, I think we're, I think we're good for now. They broke through the main gate. Trample them. All save that. Even though we smashed the main gate, Fort Mercius is still an ironclad fortress. And the enemy commander is the Death Knight. We must not falter in our assault. I now see why they call this keep impregnable. Everywhere you turn is defensive weaponry. We must capture all of those locations as we push forward. If even one of them takes a shot at you, we will be in trouble. 
One, two, three, four. Yikes, man. I think this one's the closest. Oh no, you're the closest. I'd be honored. You tell me I just can't have Ash take him out? Yeah. <laughs> Saying he has range. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Ready when you are. I kind of want to see what will happen if we interact with it. Uh, so What's the plan? plan? We're gonna have you run this way. More fighting. I owe you one. Oh, snap. I didn't know I was like right there. Up on him like that. Oh, never mind. There's more, more of these weapon things. It's just my ass wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I am prepared. You guys can just move, however. See, I'll probably just have her uh, have my guy move my an extra, move an extra uh, turn. Impressive. Brilliant. Leave it to me. I feel like we're gonna need somebody at least out here just in case. I'm trying to see who I can have my guy shoot and kill as like a hit and run type tactic. Uh, you're the only one? There we go. can't run. Wait, why did I press wait? That holy shit. I think from defeating the monsters is how you guys get the umbral still too, by the way. Is this gonna kill Sylvain? That's what I'm kind of expecting it to do. We're just gonna test it out and see. I feel like I'm gonna lose like two people. Wait, you guys? Oh, okay, no, they moved up. They moved up on your boy. And who is this? Lionheart? I didn't really talk to him that much uh, at the academy, so I don't really know like what his personality is really like.
I'll use it. Made it hard for your boy to survive. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, let's push you down there, buddy. <laughs> more frustrating and fruitless than engaging in the battle itself. Worrisome. They have a leader capable of summoning reinforcements. If we find and strike down that person, we can prevent further interruptions. Eastern units, advance to the front line! I feel like it's only right having Dimitri take you out. I hope someday there will be no fighting and <laughs> we can all just... Ah, never mind. He's the guy that was always sleepy. Let's see about moving some people up. Oh, wrong person. I wanted to move Dimitri up. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go back. <laughs> More fighting. I did not want to move him up. I don't know why I went to him at default. Leave it to me. At your service. Oh wait, she can arm it. But who can you hit? Oh, you can't hit anybody in there. These guys are looking pretty freaking swarmed. Just to heal both of them up. It's like for these guys, it's like kind of, it's like you kind of just want to take them out. Ready when you. 
you are. Here. <laughs> I'd be honored. Move him back just because he needs some help on him. What's my strategy? Don't blame yourself. It's my fault for being weak. Oh, man, maybe I should have... He said it's his fault for being weak. we know let me see what your threat is you're targeting him you're targeting him you're targeting him you haven't targeted anybody yet um, Put me in there. but what's his move pattern okay uh, As I expected. I'd be honored. Ah! Great work. See, the tricky thing right now is where to what's my strategy where to put Ingrid after that after that fight oh she almost died luckily she didn't uh huh just get a little closer because I think he'll probably be able to snipe decently from there we'll swap you out for that brave act you have more hits on it well you are the plan uh, ba -ba. just do a focus now Okay, they kind of just I can feel it in my bones. Mm. Why the hell did they move her all the way back like that? Yeah, I didn't even realize like that's how far back we had to go. 
And then they move my guy back too. Their plan is pretty stupid. I sense an improvement. Leave it to me. Ready when you are. I think that I think I think we did decent with that. Yeah, cuz you know like the sooner we take you out, the better for us. move you closer I don't I don't get why they put her so freaking far away Thanks. more fighting much needed. See, these are like the reasons why I can't wait to, I can't wait to have uh, this guy become a great knight because the mobility aspect of this class is amazing.
probably should have kept that just because of that armor slayer aspect on it. Well done. That crit was nice. Great work. Much needed. I understand. Okay, that thing is getting way closer than expected. Wow, he's level 50. I don't know why I just now noticed this. I don't even know. Can we run up on him like that? Ooh, that's an insta-kill too. I kind of want to see how I can make it so people get enough EXP out here. We'll pick up like these items. Oh, he's going to attack back. <laughs> If 
he gets a crit, I'll just come up. I'll just do like, wow. To die, to know one without the other would be maddening. When I was talking about the crit, I was more so talking about it for the Death Knight <laughs> getting a crit. I'm getting closer to. Knew you could do it. The enemy general has been vanquished. Everyone, move to gain control of the keep. Victory is ours. Raise the banner of the knights. May it soar proudly over the impregnable fortress. Oh, I have to meet. I have to meet Emiya. Thank you so much. Emil. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault for leaving you behind when I left House Bartels. I should have gone back for you sooner. <sighs> I'm sorry for not being a better sister to you. Mercedes. Please forgive me, Emil. Mercy, we need to go. Now. Goodbye. Your Highness, our capture of the fortress is complete. Now the path to the Imperial Capital is finally open to us. Once we have finished cleaning up after the battle, let's have another meeting to discuss our next move. Truly, but it matters not. Consider this. Once this war is over, the mountain of official business on my plate will be even taller. If I can't handle at least this much, how will I... Pardon the interruption. We've just received a letter from Margrave Gautier. Very well. I will read it at once. I see. It seems the conflict within Fargus has at last come to an end. Yes, Your Highness. Margrave and the other Eastern Lords are at the center of it, and are gathering the Kingdom's military forces even now. They intend to join with the Alliance Army, and send troops and supplies to the Monastery. What do you know? My old man is really pulling his weight. Did he seem well? Yes, as well as can be expected. He has taken it upon himself to bring order back to our troubled territory, while His Highness is away. I am truly in the Margrave's debt. I will be sure to thank him properly at first opportunity. Thank you for the information. Now tell me, did it seem to you that my presence was needed back at the monastery? Well, I do have a verbal message from the Margrave on the subject. A verbal message? How strange. The other day, he arrested one of Viscount Kleiman's men. And, well, the prisoner has claimed involvement in the tragedy of Dusker. He has implicated his lord as well. Go on. I was told they would be transporting this man to the monastery, along with the troops and supplies. The Margrave said that regardless of the credibility of the man's testimony, how he should be dealt with was your decision alone, your highness. Very well. All that considered, I will return to the monastery at once. Will you come with me, Professor? Thank you. Part two, Azure Moon, Verdant Rain Moon, Our Chosen Paths. The Kingdom Army has captured Fort Mercius, Managing troops from the now stable Western Kingdom and former Alliance territory, the Kingdom Army returns to Garigmach to regroup and reorganize its forces. 
With sufficient might to challenge the Empire, the Kingdom Army finalizes their plans to march on Enbar, the Imperial capital. Ah, there you are. His Highness was looking for you. He's gone ahead and started interrogating the prisoner, Viscount Kleiman's man. He said he'd like for you and I to be present as well. Will you come with me? I cannot overlook your reckless remarks. Are you really so keen to lose your head? I only did what I believed was right. I swear to the goddess that I'm not lying. Amidst the turmoil of the tragedy, Lady Patricia was supposed to be the only one who was unharmed. We had been given orders ahead of time to not approach her carriage. Of course not. What would my stepmother have had to gain from such a... Perhaps Lady Patricia would have done anything to return to the Empire, to her husband and daughter. What exactly are you implying? For the past few months, I've been spying on lords who defected to the Empire in order to investigate rumors about Lady Patricia. Cornelia's words were true. The two of them, I am afraid they conspired together after all. Enough of this nonsense! You say she wished to return home? That isn't nearly enough reason to cause such a tragedy. I do not intend to imply that the two of them were solely responsible for the whole affair. There were likely nobles who opposed the king, or potentially someone who wanted to throw the kingdom into chaos. The Empire and people like Solon and Kranya had their motives too. So my stepmother joined with them to cause the tragedy. Is that what you believe? Ultimately, this is just conjecture based on the evidence at hand. I have no idea what their true intentions were. I see. We will hear what this man has to say. For now. My lord had long felt that King Lambert's radical ways were dangerous. At the time, he was approached with an offer to take part in the incident at Dusker. My lord loves his homeland. To me, he embodied justice. We were only doing what we thought was right. And so, in the name of justice, he caused massacre upon massacre out of love for his homeland. You murdered your own king, killed our soldiers, and involved innocent citizens. And yet you have the gall to speak of justice! I am only standing before you now because I could no longer bear the weight of my sins. No. I accept your hatred and even the punishment of death, but I still believe it was a massacre in the name of justice. Gilbert, lock this man in his cell. Are you not going to kill him? I will make that decision once I have had time to consider this man's definition of justice. Yes, Your Highness. That was very mature of him. No, I cannot say that I am. Tell me, Professor, how well do you remember your father, Gerald? Soon enough, you will come to understand how painful it is to forget the faces of those who have passed on. To be honest, I cannot really remember my stepmother's... <sighs> ...that woman's smile, nor the sound of her voice. I always told myself that I would not allow my mind to forget, and yet... ...all I can recall with clarity is her gazing away, so forlorn. Did my stepmother wish to go home so badly that she would kill father and me? Kill her false family? Home to her own blood. Her true family. I suppose it doesn't make any difference now. I am asking you questions you could not possibly know the answer to. 
I am finished with thoughts like that. I am finally able to go on living without clinging to hate. If I truly treasure those who have died, then I must earnestly atone for my sins. Father, Glenn, all of the soldiers who have fallen, the people of Dusker who still suffer persecution. The only atonement I can offer them now is to take responsibility for this broken kingdom that has been entrusted to me. That is why I feel that I must meet with Edelgard and try to talk to her. Do you think it is a fool's errand? Honestly, I think so too. But I must swallow my feelings and grudges, our whole history really, and ask her about this future that she sees. What she aims for once her domination is complete. What kind of justice she clings to as she fights. And why she felt it necessary to start this war. I believe that asking her these things is the true responsibility I have been tasked with as king. We will march our troops to the Imperial capital. But before any battle begins, we will set up camp nearby and send a messenger. I will tell her that I need to speak with her in a safe place without any weapons or troops. As to whether or not she will agree to my request, well, that rests solely on Edelgard. I would like to believe that as well. You know, Professor, when we fought in Ferdiad, Cornelia mocked me and called me pitiful. But even if it is true that my stepmother never loved me, I am not to be pitied. After all, I have allies and dear friends who care for me. And now, I also have you by my side. Well guys, uh, I'm gonna end that episode off with that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like for the video, it helps out the video, and also subscribe to my channel, it helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, take it easy. Later.